As of January 2021, we've made some changes to our drawing tools to make it easier for you to add, move and edit drawings. Let's open the drawing tools menu and have a look. All of the draw options are at the top of the menu. We have options to add markers, shapes, lines, text labels, measurement labels, text boxes, images, grid reference markers and buffers. Let's start by adding a marker to each of the schools on this map. Open the marker menu and select the marker you want. Select each spot on the map to place a marker. Let's say we want to move one of those markers. First I close the marker menu by selecting the marker button at the top. Now the select button is highlighted. I can now click and drag any individual marker to a new position. Now let's say I want to change all of the markers for a different one. I'm going to use the Select Features by Box tool. Let's choose that button. Now I can drag a box on the map that covers all of my markers. The marker menu opens. I can choose a different one. Let's try a grin. If I want to delete any marker, I can choose the Delete on Click button. Now I just select a marker to delete it. You can also delete all features with the Delete All button or select features to delete and drag a box around the features you wish to delete. Now let's look at shapes. Open the shapes menu to see the options pop up below. I'm going to add a polygon around the recreation ground. The polygon button is the first one in the list, it's already highlighted. Notice that style settings are available below the shapes menu. I'll choose a green line and green fill colour. This bar on the fill colour settings controls the transparency of your shape. It's always set in the middle of the line so you can see your map underneath the shape. However, if you want a solid colour, you can just drag the bar to a setting that suits you. Now I'll draw my shape. Note that some hints appear on the map to guide you on how to draw. If you don't want to see those, you can turn them off at the top of the menu. For this shape, I click each point of my polygon, then double click to finish. I'm closing the shape menu, so the select button is highlighted, meaning I can move my shape. To make other changes to it, I need to click on the shape to highlight it. If it's outlined in yellow, it's highlighted. Now notice the Modify menu appears. This offers me several options for editing my shape. I can add a label, select the label button, type your text and select OK. If you don't like the font colour or size, you can change it in the text settings menu above. You can modify the shape points, select the points button and you'll see a blue dot around your shape. You can drag the blue dot in any direction to change the point of that shape. There are other options to rotate, scale and transform your shape. There are two line options, a standard line and a freehand line. With the standard line option, you click at each point of the line. Let's draw a route from a house to school. I choose my style options, then click where I want to start, then click at each point along the line, double clicking to finish. To add a measurement label to that line, I select the measurement button, then just click on the line. With the freehand line option, it's quicker to draw your line, but it takes a bit more practice to control. I hold the mouse down and drag to create my line. Let's look at our text options. The first text option is a standalone label, so use this for things like a map title or to highlight an area. The text settings appear where you can choose colour, size and style. The text box option is for longer bits of text. It adds a box with a marker. Select text box, choose a marker, then choose your location on the map. Now type your text. With this option, there are no text style options. After typing your text, click anywhere on the map. You can add images. Again, you have the option to select a marker for the image. Select choose file. Navigate to your image, select Open, and finally select Upload. Grid ref markers give a British national grid reference for any location on your map. If you're outside Great Britain, it will give you the lat long for your location. Our buffer tool offers point and line buffers. First, select the type of buffer you want. I want a point buffer of half a mile around one of the schools to show the catchment area. I select point 0.5, then miles, then select the centre of the school. 
Let's zoom out so you can see that. Finally, I'm going to select the buffer so I can add a label to it. I hope that's been useful. Please let us know if you have any problems with the tools or questions.